Welcome back to Dove Twang. I'm Dave. So I had a question uh, about two weeks ago. It's taken me a while to get back to this. And just real quick, the essence of it was from a subscriber in a comment on the channel was, I've been working on this method and I feel good with a lot of the scales and I feel like I can use triads and things in my soloing. But it seems like you're landing on the just the right note, you know, when the chords change and stuff and how you, I'm not, that's what's kind of escaping me right now. It was worded better than what I just said. And I'm going to show you this more by example than, than through verbiage. But I just wanted to thank, I don't know the name of the person. I don't remember. There's a lot of comments and I really appreciate all of them. I try to respond to all of them, uh, even if it takes me a few days. Um, but that one kind of stuck with me like, and yeah, no, that's a, that's a lesson there. That's a good kind of thing to carve out and really talk about. And, um, so I kind of worked on it. I've just played a pretty simple, you know, relatively simple, um, um, intro there compared to some of the stuff that we do. And, um, I was, you know, if you could tell, I was trying to be very deliberate about it. And, and, and I want that to be a real... Uh, a demonstration of what I'm about to to show you here, and um, we're we'll start with we don't we're not going to get into a lot of a lot of chord theory and stuff on this. We're just going to show you kind of a really you know quick and dirty way that I think will help you with this you know aiming for something. You know what's the thinking about the next measure? That's a great you know uh, uh, thought that the you know, um, um, subscriber brought up actually is like, you know, I, you know, it's great that we've done work and memorize the scales and so forth. You know, the next, one of the natural things to ask, one of the appropriate next questions is, okay, now, you know, how can I really get that melody that I'm reaching for in my mind? Where is it on the fretboard? So I can't, you know, obviously answer that in one 12 minute lesson. Um, and I've been working on that my whole life <laughs> and I'm still working on it. Right. But you know, we're working on this together now. So here's a little piece of that puzzle, hopefully for everybody. Our chords are C, G, down to F. Okay. You hold that F you know, twice as long. They're all major, okay? So here's the, and in the follow-up for this, I'll do something a little bit, we'll elaborate on it a little bit more. But here's how to get going on this. Um, let's take, before we get back, you know, with the track here, well, let me put the track on just to warm up with C major, okay? That's your C major scale. Okay, now, being a warm-up, I wasn't as mindful about my notes. I did a lot of linear stuff, just went up, went down, went back and forth, just roamed around with that scale. That's, that's cool for a warm-up. After a little bit, though, you start, it's, I think it, this is what this, this um, uh, subscriber was referring to. It just starts to feel so pedestrian. I'm just walking around like that. 
okay, here's the next step. And even if you use sort of a similar melody or, or um, cadence, it's okay with what I'm about to show you. In fact, it's kind of a good thing because if you notice what I did, I went... So the, the, the little lines in between the chords are rhythmically the same. Yeah, da 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 chord, ba da 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 chord. All right. Now, now go off to the side without the track, and let's break down that little process. And here's where the rubber really meets the road with this one: is play the first chord. Now I started. My melody on that E, is that a chord tone of C, a triad? E is the third of C major, okay, the major third for that C chord. So I started on uh, the third for C. Didn't really, you know, overthink that or plan on it. Just seemed like a note that, you know, that I kind of intuitively knew would, would, would work there. But if you do the analysis, it's the third of the C. Just write up that, the notes in that C major scale. Even if, regardless of what note I'm starting on in that river of notes, it's still C major. <laughs> Now, that's the melody note that my brain wants me to go to. All right. And that's over the... That's the downbeat of that measure when it changes from C to G. Okay. That note is D. Now, is D a chord tone or a triad tone of G. It's the fifth of G. Hear that note in there? It's part of that uh, harmony of that chord. Then I went... Kind of the same idea, just two doors down. It's the fifth of that F chord. The note is C, okay? Now, if you watch this channel, you know we love the fifth. So, of course, I'm going to be landing on fifths, you know, pretty often. So, now, if we put this on and we kind of listen to where it... showing you tab for that or anything if you're again if you watch this channel you got you get used to this use your ear play that little melody now if you're you know if this is pretty if, if you're comfortable with all this and you can kind of do it right away then you know there's still something here for you you got to challenge yourself to well i'm just going to do some more elaborate lines but look for some different targets and maybe extensions beyond just the notes that are in the triad and so forth. So there's, there's, the, the concept is still useful for you, hopefully. Um, but back to kind of the building blocks of this, right? We're going... All right. And when we have the track on, we don't have to make the chord statement, but it's a good way to practice 
to do this method where you're playing the chord, then the line in between, because you're really targeting them, right? You're not just, you're not going to tend to just kind of meander as much, right? You're going to be more deliberate about where you land. That's important. Um, the rest of that intro, I just did the same, worked on the same concept by the same method, right? But I just moved up and did it in different octaves, different positions. And then I might have changed, you know, some of the, um, the, the rhythmic feel of it or, or the, you know, the value, the time value of the notes. So I might have gone... I'm still keeping that melodic theme going. Now, uh, one thing I did do in that routine that I'll, I'll, I'll put this back on and show you is that on the part where it holds the F going back to the C, I did a lot of C uh, major pentatonic stuff. To slide up here for that C major pentatonic. A lot of you already are familiar with that. That's great. If you're not, you know, this is a good little progression to, to work that in there too. So now you have kind of a program, right? You've got this kind of simple statements, three or four note statements that lead to the next chord and target a tone within that chord. Okay. And your ear will help you find these. You don't have to do it all just by math, you know. Um, and then you've also got that C major pentatonic that will work across this whole thing. And that allows you to kind of move around in a smoother, kind of bluesier or, or country uh, rock sort of way, right? And not just, you know, be... Uh, uh, completely um, um, dedicated to the triads, right? So you, and when you put that kind of loose stuff like the pentatonic playing with the more precise stuff like the triads and the target notes and stuff, you get a nice kind of, you know, sophisticated but laid back feel, right? It doesn't feel, sound real technical, but it also doesn't just sound like, you know, loosey goosey, uh, you know, pentatonic stuff all over the place. Hopefully you strike a balance, you know, with those things. And, and you don't need a lot of uh, elaborate principles and skills applied all at once in a song. Most songs that are pleasant to listen to feature something that's thematic and it kind of sticks with that all the way through it, right? So don't, don't, you know, remind yourself not to go overboard with trying to plug in everything that you, every skill that you have into every piece that you're playing, right? Um, these are just my kind of go-to, the way that I feel when I hear a progression like this and a feel like that. And yours is going to be different very often. Um, but, you know, by all means, you know, if you need a place to just kind of really get your footing and get started, just kind of copy what what we did on this lesson and then branch off from that, right? You can use different triad forms like... Um, Let me know how it goes. Have fun. See you next time.